Hi, it's Stanley again. I've been watching some silly dancing cat videos streaming straight from the internet computer on the latest example app from Definity Developer Experience Team. We call it CanCan. -Can. Let's take a deeper look at how it works. So last fall, we launched the Motoko programming language and our SDK. And at the time, I showed you a very simple to-do app. It ran in the terminal on my laptop. Uh, and then this spring, we launched a test network. So I showed you a desktop web app that ran in a single data center. CanCan -Can is a mobile video sharing app distributed across multiple data centers. So six months ago, we were showing you the 1970s era computing, and now we're already up to the 20-teens, which puts us on pace to hit the year 2050 by this winter. Our last app, Linked Up, was composed of multiple stateful modules, or canisters. Uh, and one served the front-end assets and the API, the other handled social graph behavior. There was no database uh, because all of the data was persisted uh, by declaring standard data structures like arrays, maps, trees. For CanCan, -Can, we again have multiple canisters working together. This time, the first canister is only serving the front end assets, which we've written in TypeScript using the React framework. But you could use Vue or Angular or even no framework at all. Connecting to other canisters is even simpler than a standard XHR. You import the canister by its alias, which the SDK can resolve at build time, and then you can call any of the public methods of your canister in your code. The second canister is holding all of our data. It's sort of a distributed hash table that we've implemented in Motoko. And not just the metadata and content hashes are stored here, but the video bytes themselves, and then we are sliced into chunks and stored. Uh, to be retrieved, reconstituted, and then played as a video in the front end. So we can request a video, and the back end will either respond with data, or it will request the data from one of its peers. And that ability to shard and rebalance means that my storage scales as needed, so I'll never run out of space. Now Dominic challenged us to build a library like this one, which we call Big Map, so that developers could write a scalable app in less than a thousand lines of code. Actually, he said 500 lines of code, but we talked them up to 1,000. For CanCan, -Can, we did it in zero. There's no other backend than this library. Big, Big Map has a simple interface, put and get, and that's all we ended up needing in the front end. The scaling happens painlessly and out of sight. In fact, if you kept the same interface, you could swap the implementation for a canister written in an entirely different language, which is what we did. The Rust implementation takes advantage of non-mutating queries, which are blazing fast on the internet computer. So we make one lookup to an index canister and then another query to a data canister with the canister that the first result responds with. Now these queries resolve in milliseconds. So our first byte of data arrives in less than a second. Every service running on the internet computer is completely interoperable with every other regardless of the language in which they were authored. So once your code has been compiled to a WebAssembly module and then installed as a tamper-proof canister, services can be seamlessly composed as easily as importing a library. Speaking of installing, I actually noticed a typo in our app earlier. So let's quickly fix it and update our canister. CanCan -can here should clearly be lowercase. If I make the change and rebuild the app, you'll see I get a few warnings because I'm using an unreleased version of the SDK. Now when I deploy, I can specify whether I want to reinstall with a fresh state or upgrade only the code while keeping the state intact. And now if I take a look at my phone, you can see that the change is live and in the hands of my users in just seconds. Uh, so I deploy changes across a decentralized network, running in data centers all across the world, about as fast as I could tweet that Definity is hiring SDK engineers. Let's recap. Uh, streaming video on mobile device, written in multiple languages with painless scaling, updated in seconds. This goes beyond legacy software development, beyond smart contracts. This is app development in 2020. The network is live, applications are open, and I hope to see you soon. You'll excuse me, I need to go shoot some can-cans.